Hi guys, happy Monday. Today I'm going to start with chapter 7, but let's first talk about, kind of recap what happened in chapter 6. So this is where Tristan went into town um, to get some donuts, um, but however he didn't find any donuts. And on the way back it started to storm and um, a friend picked him, or not a friend, a stranger picked him up and took him home. And then when he got back he was kind of like nervous to see what his parents would say because they thought they had called the cops looking for him. But surprisingly when he did get back home his parents acted like they never knew that he was gone. Um, but he wanted, um, can you guys remember what kind of donuts he wanted when he went to town? He wanted chocolate cream donuts. So his mom was starting to fix breakfast and she said, do you want anything for, bre for breakfast, Tristan? And she, and he said, um, chocolate cream donuts. But, um, however, he, he didn't end up saying he was hungry, so... That leaves us off with chapter six. So now we're starting with chapter seven, and it looks like there are three emails that are that are being sent in the beginning of the chapter. So the first email says um, to K Kramer Rocks at Mar.com from Jax T Livin four four one at Mar.com, and the subject is help with a bunch of exclamation points. Ow! 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 Yes. Coyotes really do sound like that. I know this is because I heard them circling our house last night. No lie. If you don't hear from me again, a mother coyote has fed me to her pups. I guess there could always be a worse way to go. Uh, maybe not. Torn apart by coyote teeth has to be one of the top worst ways to die. What's up? Then it looks like um, K Kramer Rocks at Mar.com sent another email to jackst11441 at Mar.com. And it says, did you get my email? Coyote's closing in. Have you ever seen a blue egg with an orange yolk? We've moved to Whoville. Please send bagels, FedEx. So then Jax T11441 at Mar.com replied to K Kramer Rocks at Mar.com. Are your parents ever getting you a cell phone? You and my grandparents are the last people on earth not using one. Try working the you destroyed my life by moving to the middle of nowhere thing. Maybe they'll feel bad enough to get you a phone. Super busy getting ready for tryouts. My dad got me some private ses sessions with one of the coaches from Uptown Athletic Center so I could work on my shooting. Gotten, it has gotten way better already. Send pics of the coyotes. What's up with the eggs there? We'll bring bagels when we come for Thanksgiving. Where do you go for your fun up there in Peter's Village? Alright, so that's the end of the emails. So for the next two days, I did nothing except unpack boxes and think about chocolate cream donuts. Did the donut which used milk chocolate or semi-sweet or dark? Was the cream airy like mousse or thick like pudding? Did she glaze the donuts or sprinkle them with powdered sugar? The second night when I couldn't take it anymore, I went downstairs and searched all 67 of my mother's cookbooks while I finished up the apple crisp we had for dessert. Not even Roland had a recipe for chocolate cream donuts. I guess it's hard to make uh, fried donut, fr fried dough presidential. I'm sure I could have found one of one on the internet, but you never know about those recipes you find online. Besides, I wasn't interested in making just any chocolate cream donuts. On the third day, my parents announced we are going to the library. Janine needed books for her project. Of course, she had it all figured out already and was raring to go. She was so fired up, she'd even forgotten about her plan to put my parents under citizen's arrest for keeping us out of school. It's a field study of the land around our house, she explained on the driveway, on the drive to the library. First, I'll do a map. Then I'll mark the topography, you know, where the land rises and falls. And then, this is the coolest part, I'll identify and label all the trees, plants, and animals where they're common, where they're common and scientific names. Cool. I was hoping my enthusiasm for Janine's project would keep anyone from asking about mine. Sounds fantastic, Dad said. Zoe, what are you looking for? Fairy dust. I wasn't thinking books. You didn't say that. You said looking for it, and I'm looking for fairy dust because the happy thoughts aren't working. Zoe had been watching this old Peter Pan movie nonstop. All she could talk about was filling her mind with happy thoughts so she can fly, which... I guess if you ask Peter Pan, it's all it takes. I don't think they have fairy dust at the library, Mom said. 
Can we make some? We'll see when we get home. We'll see. Tawadi Tawadi Dabu Dabu Hate. We'll see. Zoe smacked the back of Mom's seat with her vomit bucket. Tawadi Tawadi and Dabu Dabu are Zoe imaginary friends. We have no idea what they look like, but they must be very small because she's always pulling them out of her pockets. It's also possible they're attached in some way because one never appears without the other, and she re usually refers them to as the unit, Twaddy Twaddy and Dabu Dabu. Mom turned around and snatched the bucket out of Zoe's hand. You know what I hate? When Twaddy Twaddy and Dabu Dabu make a mess. No fairy potion project unless I specifically say so. Got it? Fairy dust, not fair potion. Did you hear what I said, Zoe? I did, said Zoe. Behave yourself, Mom said, and handed Zoe back her bucket. What about you, Tris? Dad called over her shoulder. You come up with a project yet? There it was, the question I'd been dreading. Yeah, I said, drawing out the word to buy time. The truth was I had nothing. I blamed the donuts. I tried. I really had. I sat for hours staring at a blank sheet of paper, but nothing came. Nothing. But those stupid donuts. Even now, with a brain spinning to give me something, anything, that's still all there was. So, what is it, Mom said. Chocolate cream donuts, I said before I could stop by myself. The ones you were telling us about, she said. Uh-huh. I said, hopefully, it had been an explanation, not an answer. But if they were willing to accept it as one, that worked for me. How can a donut be a project, Janine said. Excellent question. How can a donut be a project? Sounds like a project to me, Mom said. Tell me more. I can't. I'm still figuring it out. Can't wait till you do, Mom said. Yeah, me neither. Me neither, I said into my jacket. At least now I had a good excuse for spending every waking second thinking about chocolate cream donuts. When we got to town, I told my parents that I had some research to do at the general store and that I'd meet them at the library. The store looked the same as it had the first time I had been there. Dark and except for Winnie. She was in the back stacking egg cartons. Hi, I said. I waited for her to say something back, but when it was clear she wasn't going to, I went on. Those eggs were really good, I paused again, but Winnie just kept stacking cartons like I wasn't even there. My whole family thought so. Still nothing. And you were right. Those yolks were orange. I mean, really orange. I've never seen that before. That's when she finally stopped and turned around. It's because my chickens spend their days outside in the sunshine eating plants like God intended. I wasn't sure what she meant. Did God bless you with better eggs if you were kinder to your chickens? I must have looked, at, looked as confused as, as, as I was because then she said, See, the sunlight and the chlorophyll from the plants give the yolks their orange color. Those nasty, pale, tasteless yolks means the chickens don't go outside. Wow, that's really interesting, I said. Winnie rolled her eyes. You going to buy some more or what? I actually wanted to ask you some questions about those donuts you used to make, I said, pointing to the sign. Oh, goody. I just wanted to know if maybe, uh, if maybe I could have the recipe, I said quickly. My donut recipe? She poured herself a mug of coffee from a thermos on the counter. I nodded. Why? It was a simple question, but I panicked. As she watched me stammer, she smacked a packet of sugar against her hand like Danny Del Delaney from Little League used to do with his bat right before he tried to hit you with it. After a couple of false starts, something began to spill out. See, I know they are your donuts, but since they were so popular, they are almost part of the town too, you know, like its history. And I just moved here, and I thought that making the donuts would be a way of sort of getting to know the town. I barely finished talking when Winnie burst out laughing, spewing coffee all over me. You think if you laugh in somebody's face and spout a hot beverage at them at him, you'd apologize, but no. Winnie just went right and on laughing till she was gasping for breath for gasping for breath, like she was having a heart attack, and I just had to stand there and take it while she laughed in my face with the coffee all over it. Oh, I needed that, she said at, when she firmly came up for air. She dabbed at the corners of her eyes with a napkin, then handed one to me. Now, why do you really want the recipe? Fine, fine, I snapped. I was over trying to get on her good side. What was the point? She clearly didn't have one. She was the evil donut 
witch of Petersville. I just want one, okay? My parents forced us to move here, and as far as I can tell, the best thing about this place is those donuts. So I just want one, okay? Okay, okay, you just want one? She looked like she might burst out laughing again in any second. That's not all, I said. There's more? You, you going to tell me now you think you can cure cancer with my donuts? No, I was going to tell you that my parents are forcing me to come up with a project I can work on till I start school here, and I decided your donuts are it. A donut's not really a project. I know, I know, a donut isn't a project. I get it. So I'm still not clear on how my recipe would help. Neither was I ex exactly, but an idea had begun to form right there as I'd been talking. But if my project was bringing the chocolate cream donut back to Petersville, what do you mean? You said you don't want people to forget the donuts, right? But eventually they will, unless they can still have some, I guess. But I told you I'm not make making them. I know, but I could make them. I could make them and sell them like a hot dog guy. Only I'd sell donuts. Let me get this straight. You want to make and sell my donuts. Uh-huh. And how are people going to know they're my donuts? She asked like she just caught me cheating at cards. We can say it right there on the sign. Say what exactly? Whatever you want. Winnie's Chocolate Cream Donuts. The General Store's Famous Donuts. Winnie, Winnie's Heavenly Donuts. The General Store's Famous Donuts sounds pretty good. She said nodding. So, it's a deal? I had out my hand for her to shake. Winnie crossed her, uncrossed her, I'm sorry. Winnie crossed her arms. Not so fast. I can't just give you the recipe. Why not? I should have known it couldn't be that easy. Because I don't know if you can bake. You need to make me something. You mean like a tryout? That's right, like a tryout. So I know you're good enough. Uh, okay. What do you want me to make? Some kind of, some kind of sweet. If I like it, I'll give you my recipe. Deal. I said, and this time she shook my hand. So that's the end of chapter seven. So do you think Tristan is going to make a really good sweet that Winnie is going so good that Winnie's going to give her going to give her donut recipe to Tristan? I guess we're going to find out in chapter eight.